Hey, yo, this is why my truck stays a project. I'm supposed to be working on one thing, but I got bored and started working on another. So, this is the cab corner that's, as you guys can tell, pretty messed up. But all this up here is good where it's folded at. I just need to chop all that stuff off. But if you peel this back, you guys can see this is all clean. So, right here after the seam, right here, that's where it starts to get all rusty at. So. I mean, it's good to know that I didn't cut right through on that little seam piece. This is like glue. I don't even know what you want to call that stuff. But I ended up just bringing it along. Look at that, dude. Like freaking butter. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I should pull it back like this. And it should probably just rip right out. No, I need to cut a little bit more. All right, you guys, I went ahead and just took the freaking zipper to it and zipped it up. But grab this damn thing. I should be able to just go ahead and pull this off without having to cut it more. Yeah, <laughs> definitely going to do some major body work to this. Not major, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like right there, dude. And it's off. Here you go, guys. Crusty ass metal. Now we just need to go through and zip it all out. All right, guys. So I already started hitting this up with the 36 grit on the angle grinder. And I was using my file to come through and clean up these edges right here. There's a wire harness right here. I'm not sure what it goes to. Maybe the speakers. But... I came right here and this whole piece is just man this is bad I don't know if they sell pieces that go right here to cover up all this I got the outside shell I just need to know if they have the inside and this little piece right here I might actually have to go to the junkyard and cut all that out and just I'll probably just rivet it together. I'll probably just like cut it all the way right there and then just seal this up. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't have a welder. All right, you guys, day two. Um, I just went ahead and cut this piece off right here. It was just hanging down, just like that, somewhere right here. But yeah, um, I was thinking I can just like go up a couple inches and just like fill in all this right here but it turns out on this side right here it's it's like an eggshell all the way up to about like right here so um <laughs> what i was thinking about doing was just go ahead and go up to this body line right here and just cut it all the way across like well right before the body line so like Probably like right here at the top of this molding cut from like right here all the way across get all that out of the way including all of this because this would have to go because you can't just overlap that but um yeah so already pretty much pinned it out it's this whole piece right here so from the top of this this would be like right where this is right here, so right on top of that molding. You just have to cut it all the way across and use this whole piece right here. All right, so this is sort of how it's gonna look, minus the whole section up here. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, definitely gonna look good, dude. It's definitely gonna look good. This will be the first time I ever did something like this. I mean, I've done Bondo jobs before, but nothing this major. All right, you guys, it's been a few days. Uh, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Lachayom, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, start peeling away on this seam sealer right here and get a drill and start drilling out all these spot welds and then get that cut out because all this needs to go. I can go from like right here in the middle, 
so that way at least the seam is covered up because I don't have a welder. My buddy that does have a welder is in Ohio and he can't just up and leave and come down here and I'm not trying to pay a body shop fucking what like a thousand dollars just to weld that up. All right, you guys, so I'm cutting a little bit at a time. But right here, I'm on the seam. I just literally took a knife and then went in right here on this corner and I just pulled at it and I got this long ass flathead and I'm just in here just peeling it just like this all the way down until I get down here and then and just remove it. <laughs> all right, you guys, we're down to the point where we need to cut this. Um, I. I put it up against the truck and I mark it right here because that's where I cut it out on a jam. But I'm like, nah, let me go up a little bit more just in case, you know, I can I can cut off a half an inch all the way down. It's gonna suck, but I can do it. But uh I just went ahead and mark it right here, put the tape line right there. Um I got it squared up like as much as I can. This tape got wet with freaking soap. I'm gonna cut along this bottom edge right here. 